Hello and welcome to the lecture series on applied thermodynamics. We are considering reciprocating air compressor for our discussion. In today's lecture, we are going to consider the following two objectives. Number one, working principle of an air compressor followed by possibilities of work done in an air compressor. To start with, compressor is basically a mechanical unit which is used to compress the air to a very high pressure and deliver it as per the demand for the end use. And this is basically composed of a cylinder and a piston as shown here. And the piston is free to reciprocate between the two reference points. These are called as the head end and the crank end. And the volume that one can see between the piston top and the cylinder head is called as the clearance volume. And the volume that is swept by the piston between the two points, that is head end and the crank end, is called as the swept volume. To start with, looking at the working process. The working of air compressor can be divided into four processes. Number one is the suction process during which the inlet valve opens at the suction chamber and then the air from the atmosphere is going to let in to the cylinder and this happens because of the pressure difference existing between the ambient pressure and the pressure prevailing inside the cylinder. During this process the piston is going to move from the head end to the crank end and this happens at a constant pressure condition followed by the next process that is a compression process during which the piston is going to ascend from the crank end to the cylinder head almost to the head end in other words during this process the volume is going to decrease and the pressure and the temperature is going to increase because of the closed condition of both the valves. Once the pressure inside the cylinder is higher than that of the external demand, the discharge valve is going to open up and the pressure is let out to the pressure vessel at constant pressure condition. So in reality one can see how higher compressor looks like. So we typically see a cylinder and piston assembly here which is being powered by a motor and the pressure vessel is connected to the cylinder assembly. Now looking at the different processes which has been discussed on a PV diagram, we have 0 to 1 is a suction process followed by 1 to 2 a compression process and then 2 to 3 a delivery process. So the focus here is on the compression process because the compressor is a work absorbing device. So as an engineer we would like to invest less amount of work for this purpose. Therefore one can fit various types of processes to compress the working fluid. Number one is 1 to 2 double dash which is the adiabatic compression process. 1 to 2 is the polytropic compression process and the third possibility is 1 to 2 dash which is the isothermal compression process and then we have the last one that is the delivery process. So among this we see that area under the PV curve whichever is the small area that signifies the minimum work. Therefore, one can see that from the PV diagram, the possibility of reducing the work input is, our, is of our interest. Among the alternatives, isothermal work consumes lesser work input as shown in the above PV diagram. Therefore, in the next class, we are going to take up a derivation for the work done relation to consume less work. And in case of any queries, you can please contact the following email ID. The recommended books are as follows. Thank you.